Taunting! Taunting! People, my name is Sin Kate, and call me Sin for short. Welcome to some more Sly 2 and the Band of Thieves. All right, the brief recap is that last episode, we sabotaged the trains, I believe. Uh, John, John, I forget his name, but John Bizon's, right? John Bizon or John Bison or whatever fuck, <laughs> whatever his fucking name is. Uh, we sabotaged the trains. We also helped uh, get the plans and blueprints for them. Uh, just sabotaging his operation. That's all we did last episode. Also, uh, dealing with Carmelita. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Now we're going to continue on with our sabotage sabotaging and thieving all right well i think we have to go with a sly i can't remember it's been a few days i've been playing a lot of zelda oh my lord okay i want to do one thing real quick you guys are gonna get the nice nice cut version we're gonna cut to me getting one more treasure piece i believe all right here it is this is what we wanted oh god i only have 45 seconds Run, 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 Carmelita's right there. Oh, shit. When she took out that moose like nothing. Oh, no. Anyways, yeah, I've been playing a lot of Zelda lately, as you guys have seen. Also, I had a cat pass away yesterday. Another one, another kitten passed away as of September 29th or... Yeah, today's the 29th? No, today's the 30th. Yeah. But on the 29th, he passed away, sadly. I, he got fatal, uh, he passed away with kitty fatal syndrome, kitten fatal syndrome, something like that. It's, 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 I don't know. It's a bunch of symptoms all together and he, he passed away quickly, fast, but in my arms, both of them passed in peacefully in my arms and I tried to give him as much comfort and warmth and yeah, I'm a little down in spirit. So I apologize if I am. You know, I've, I'm recording these days apart. I didn't feel like doing back-to-back -back recordings. And anyways, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> uh, anyways, we're going to... Sorry about all the heavy stuff. We're going to sell some stuff now. And I have a large amount, but I don't think it's enough for everything. Yeah, it is not. Um, We'll do this one. And then we'll do this one. And then I have to make more money. No. All right, well, let's get back out there as Bentley. Come on, Bentley. You got a good thing going for you, buddy. Oh, shit. Where's his mission? Where's Bentley's mission? Is it over here? Oh, yeah, it is over here. It's on top of this mountain. Oh, I hope the train doesn't hit me. Oh, it's coming. It's coming. That train is a coming. Oh boy, this is a long way up. Oh wait, wait. Never mind. I don't have to go completely all the way around. Nice. Oh shit. Here he comes. Boom! Hell yeah. Give me all this coin. Okay, now we will continue with the mission at hand. Heads up, Bentley. Here comes Iron Horse number two. You and that RC chopper of yours ready? We'll get the job done. Provided I can catch up with that train. Oh, we gotta use the chopper. Oh, jeez, I gotta catch up with the train? Oh, man. Oh, I should have turned around. Go, 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 jump. Jump. Oh, here we go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. That better work. Sly won't stand a chance making it through this train unless I neutralize the aerial defenses. Good thing I outfitted the RC chopper with a new cannon. Let's see. The X button drops bombs and the square button shoots forward. Oh boy. This is cool. I should bomb those missile launchers before things get ugly. Oh. 
Oh boy. There we go. That was a little scary to be honest, but I, I just know it's gonna get really ridiculous. I was right! Oh, I could use my trigger finger! <laughs> Oh, you can't do that for the bomb. Okay. Holy shiznits. Okay, we'll take the left one out first since I hit it first. Ah! Ah! Oh, 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 oh. Not good, not good, not good, not good. <laughs> oh my god, that's so cool. Oh, I have to deal with the planes and the rockets. Okay. Oh, please. Hell yeah. No! They hit me! Alright, we're good. Alright, now there's gonna be rockets, right? Or like missiles. This is it! The final stretch! Oh, these helicopters they got shit on me! Oh shit. Oh, that's it? Oh, shit. Alright, now we need to get... Uh... Murray. Yeah, Murray. Okay. Let's go back to the hideout. We are back. Time to change to Murray. Let's go, Murray. Alright. Where do we go? Go oh, over there. Oh, that's right. It's on the track. Shit. How am I going to get up there? We're finally here. That took a while for me to get up here, damn. We'll need this hand car to chase down Iron Horse number three. But for the time being, it's all fenced in. No problem. I'll tear that fence apart. The metal's too resilient for my bombs or your muscle. No, for this job, we're going to have to rely on a stronger force. The love of a mother for her child. Uh, you got something to tell me? Yes, I've had the good fortune of locating two juvenile bear cubs. If you put them together inside that fence, they'd surely start fighting. Bears at that age are particularly antisocial. 
Noise from the squabble should bring their mother around to free the angry youths. I get ya. That big mama bear will be able to smash the fence no problem to free her cubs. That's correct. Beware, cubs, for you are hunted by the Murray. The Murray. Alright, so I gotta get those cubs somehow. Do I just pick them up? Oh, you do. Oh my god, I feel kind of bad. This feels wrong, kidnapping a cub. <gasps> Run! Don't hit me. Murray's beautiful. Good work, Murray. I'll send you the coordinates. Really? Annoying, man. Leave the Murray alone. Okay, where's this next cub? Oh, over here. There's two of them. Okay. How am I going to? All right, so I gotta go through. Oh, what the? F mm, I hate these moles. Oh, it wants me to go in the cave. Okay, well, what's in this cave? But the other cub is somewhere in this bear cave. Be careful, Murray. Sneaky sneak. Run, 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 run. You can't get me. I have your child. Holy shit. Bad bears are coming. Oh, he's still following me. Oh my god. Oh, he stopped. Thank god. We're all right. <gasps> We're safe. <gasps> yes, we are safe. Although I feel terrible doing this. It's for a good cause. I'm sorry, bears. That was fast. The mother is already on her way. That was beautiful. Just like a nature documentary. Only more violent. <laughs> Yay! Alright, now what? Oh, do we go in a sly now? Or is there any more jobs for me? I think we go a sly now. Yeah, it's Sly's turn. Alright, Sly, let's go. Is it just that one job there? I think it is just this one over here. All right, we're here now. Sly, the second iron horse train is coming too fast. You might not have time to jump on top. Relax, Bentley. There's more than one way to get on top of that caboose. Is there? How am I going to get up there? Oh, well, that was easy. Gotta be all sneaky beaky like. Oh boy, how am I gonna get past you? Wait, I could just jump over them. Okay. I gotta watch it for these. But I was gonna throw an alarm clock, but since they fall asleep so easily. Man, he must be tired. Aha, uh -huh, let's go. Ah, great. No way I got hurt by that. You should have seen how 
many missile launchers there were attached to these train cars. I don't mind saying that it took some real finesse on my part to oh boy. How am I gonna get past this? Let me take all of your money. Oh, that's not money. Well, that didn't go to according to plan. Either way, it all worked it out. We worked it out. Thank God. Not the outcome I wanted. Run, 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 run. Oh, shit, no! Oh, how did he hit me from the side? Oh, my God. Well, it goes my stealth approach. Oh my god, how much are there? Come on, please die. Oh my lord. That should be all of them. Yes, that was. Thank god. Clockworks long. Why is that long a little bigger? Hell yeah. Okay, guys, this is it. Time to break into Iron Horse number three and carry away the clockwork stomach. Now, the train's moving too fast to jump onto here in town, so we'll have to catch up with it on Murray's new hand car. Once we're in a position, Sly will hop aboard and make his way up to the engine. While he travels through the interior, I'll provide air support with my RC chopper. I've planned this as a textbook trade robbery. If we all do our jobs right, what could possibly go wrong? Lots of things can go wrong, Bentley. Lots of things can go wrong. Damn it, not enough. Oh, we gotta play as Murray? Oh yeah, we are right. We just gotta do the handcart thing. Let's -a go. Oh, it's just right there. All right. Huzzah! Board, guys, we've got a train to catch. Whoa, Murray's a unit, dude. Got it. Strong work, Murray. Yeah. Sure, the Murray's strength knows no limit. You're on, Sly. Break into that train and steal the clockwork stomach. That John Basson's one strange guy. The clogging divides up the clockwork parts, and he walks away with the stomach and lungs? It still creeps me out. Get creeped out later when we aren't riding an antique hand car at breakneck speeds. Good point. It's time for a train robbery. Let us begin. Oh, wait, I can just go up here, dude. Neat. Oh, my God. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. All right, there we go. Ah. Uh, how the fuck? Oh. 
I was gonna actually try to jump through all of that. That's funny. I was like, huh, maybe if I jump in the middle real quick and then jump again to this to the upper luggage, I can make it. But then I seen this. What? Ain't nobody getting past me. That there clockwork stomach is as safe as a snowman in winter. I'd like to meet the varmint that's been looting my iron horse trains. By Jiminy, I get hot neath the collar just thinking about how I cut that boy down. I'd kill him like a spotted owl. I sure Like a spotted owl. I'll rack it here from these pots. Oh, what the hell? Hey, Cooper. Thought I might find you here. Just can't stay away from these clockwork pots, can you? Oh, I just do it to meet exciting ladies like yourself. If you'd like some excitement, why not climb up on top of the train? I'm sure to get your heart pumping, maybe even show you my new ride. No thanks, Neela. I've seen enough already. What's the problem, Poodle? Afraid you can't take me on. Have to call up your little friends for help. Come in, little friends. Neela's got me pinned down. Any chance of air support? I've already launched the RC chopper. She won't know what hit her. Come on, Cooper. Let's play. What in blazes? <laughs> oh, little RC friend. This should be a quick bit of destruction. You ain't prepared for my trigger finger, bitch. Oh, I died by trigger finger. Oh, God. Oh shoot, oh. Oh, we did it, oh thank god. This is a, what? Oh, oh no. my finger. That was some fancy flying, little friend. Whatever you say, poodle. <laughs> Love the banter. Oh. oh, come on, really? All right, now he's going to wake up. Yeah, this sucks. Really? It's the one time I, like... Oh my god, so annoying, dude. Oh, look at the ducks in there. How am I gonna get over there now? Oh. Oh, clever. Oh my god. Oh boy. Run, 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 run. Oh boy, that was nerve wracking. We did it! Is this the stomach? Looks like John Bassan's wised up and bolted the stomach down. We'll have to crack the engine block to get it free. Then that's just what we'll do. A well-placed bomb down the train smokestack will knock it loose. Just make sure to take some cover. Not so fast, John. Are you serious? Is mine. They will all be mine. Haven't you had enough? Oh. 
It doesn't even matter. Oh shit, it does matter now. Where'd she go? Oh. <laughs> not the Cooper gang, not Interpol, not anyone! Stand clear, Sly. This might be the best. Sly! Sly! You okay? Oh no! <laughs> I've got an upset stomach on my hands, but other than that, I feel great. Oh my god, an upset stomach. The gang and I had pulled off the impossible. We'd successfully robbed all of John Bassan's iron horse trains, and we were walking away with three, count them, three clockwork parts. And as a bonus, we shut down spice distribution in all of North America. Needless to say, we were pretty pleased with ourselves. Can't say the same for Carmelita. Once again, the framed policewoman had to run from the cops. Which was fun at first, but I'm starting to feel a little sorry for her. I mean, what if they replace Carmelita with someone else? I don't want another cop on my tail. She's a big part of why this is all fun. Sooner or later, I'm gonna have to figure out a way to clear her name. Some way other than turning myself in. Oh boy! Episode 7. Menace in the North, eh? <laughs> Things just weren't right up in Canada. Random acts of violence were popping up like weeds, and the northern lights, well, they just weren't right. One night they'd be brighter than ever, and the next, gone. In Nunavut Bay, I overheard talk between Jean Bassan and his mysterious partner, Arpeggio. Somehow, those two are behind it all. Tracking the source of the disturbance was easy. By simply following the lights, we were led north to an immense lumber camp. The sheer number of fallen trees advertised Jean Bisson's presence and that he was in possession of the clockwork talons. Pathevius Raccoonus makes numerous references to the talons slicing through plates of steel. A skilled lumberjack like Bisson could clear a forest in hours while wielding the artifacts. Those talons have got to go, both to finally do away with clockwork and to save the environment from his twisted sense of progress. The world just doesn't need to make space for another strip mall. Sly Cooper and the gang in Menace from the North. Eh. <laughs> okay, people, that's where I'm gonna leave this episode. Uh, I know it sucks. But that was great. Oh my god, there was so much steps to that plan. And I can't believe we got clean away like that. And I, I still feel bad for Carmelita. I, I feel like Sly. I feel him. You know, I understand. And now we are here again. This time, we got to deal with his claws. So that's what we're going to do next episode. We're going to start that. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys whenever this episode comes out. Remember, Sly Cooper's Tuesday. Every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. Right. And Wednesdays is Zelda. I know I have another Zelda franchise going on, which is uh, or series going on, which is uh, Echoes of Wisdom. I'm going to play that every day to finish that game. I want to finish that first because it's a brand new game and I'm loving it. And I want to share it with you guys. Uh, anyways, uh, I'm rambling on about other things. I'm sorry for that. I'll catch you guys next time or tomorrow for more video. And with that, bye-bye. Smile you later. Have a great day. Make sure you have a nice Halloween. It's going to be a great, great day for that day. Hopefully it doesn't snow here in Canada. You guys in the U.S. are so lucky. You guys don't have to deal with snow. Anyways, bye-bye. Bye-bye.